Hey guys, Lucas Wald here. I'm with Eddie Fernandez. Let's talk about a few things um, when it pertains to the transition in, a gol in the golf swing. When Eddie first came to me, one of the things that gave him a little bit of trouble was a negative angle of attack. So as a result um, of his a little lateral motion, he tended to hit down on the ball and, and spin it too much. So when you look at a great driver of the golf ball, like a you know Bubba Watson or Dustin Johnson, once they get to the top, they rotate. They move very little laterally. So we had Eddie go up to the top and practice in transition basically keeping this left hip inside the foot so typically you see you know people teaching a lateral bump but in eddie's case that wasn't working so maybe you could explain to them kind of what we did and the sequence training that led to you you know now hitting up on it much more than what you used to yeah for sure um when i first came to see lucas i had a really big lateral move so i'd come up and then i'd kind of come left this way and then I'd rotate to my left side and wondered why I couldn't hit up on it. Uh, just way too much lateral move, movement, left, probably like 8 to 12 inches left. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I knew that was a big thing. So I was trying to hang back, but I was still moving laterally and trying to hang up and trying to kind of manipulate the angle of attack, which really didn't work too well. Um, but uh, when, I, when I came to see Lucas, we never really talked about angle of attack. It's all about sequence, sequence, sequence. So... Uh, when I first started doing the drills, it was here, and then it's almost like a, my, my first move down is starting to rotate, and this right foot comes up, the knee comes, and then it's... Yeah, so one of the things that we can here. do, I call it the dance move, you can just toss your driver there, yeah. Eddie, we'll maybe do this together. Kind of the arms dangle like this, guys, a little trigger to the start, and then we go up, then you land, then you reset, trigger, up land and you see do it do it again for the folks at home trigger up land and when he lands here you see the left hip well inside the left foot the right heel up in the air you have the left part of the pelvis lower than the right and then you have the separation so the shoulders are still closed and the hips are open so it's setting up this tremendous stretch and then going to impact that's when you fire to impact so when you all are practicing at home get in front of a mirror make sure when you go up to the top that you're not moving laterally, you're not dropping this right hip, and you're not tilting with early right side bend. And those are the keys to a, a legendary world-class transition, which this guy now has.